What up? I got nice skin here with me. This ain't a diss song. But, um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheese head, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's nothing. Pull up in your town, yeah. Oh man, that was, what an environment. I've never been a part of anything like that in my life. Um, to see, I don't know what the final number was, but when you can almost fill up that stadium on a, on a practice, that's pretty unreal. That just, it just shows the passion and um, loyalty that this fan base has, which is awesome. No, just, you know, he's, we want to take care of him, so. And he's done a nice job. He's, he's, he's a pro, and we just want to make sure he stays healthy throughout the year. Anything on the line with the 63-yard the attempt there, or, or what you want to, I guess? Well, we, we called him up right before that, and he wanted one more. So, um, you know, that was a heck of a kick right there at the end. Did you know his range yet, or was that also? Yeah, I knew, I, I, knew, I knew Sam had a, had a big leg, but, uh, you know, that was a – just that was a heck of a kick. Yeah, I thought it was pretty impressive. Um, you know, I think the the officiating might have been a little generous to the offense tonight. There are a few times I'm trying to call plays for third down, and they're telling me first down, and so we got we end up with the wrong personnel in the game or whatever. But um, yeah, I was a little generous, but he did a lot of great things and made a lot of great throws out there tonight. What was your sense about you know? Yeah, I thought I thought our guys did a great job. You know, we talked about it going in that hey, this is a practice. We're we're gonna adhere to the same rules. I didn't see many guys going to the ground too often. I thought they did a nice job of really not trying to play through people in the back end, uh, but yet still challenging. The receivers. So I was, I was, I was pretty pleased with the effort and um, just the intensity, intensity level out there. You said you wanted this to be a dress rehearsal for next week. How do you think it went in that regard? Yeah, I thought it was, it was really cool just to be under the lights here again to to play in an environment like that, as especially when it's a practice, is pretty incredible. So um, no, I thought, I thought there was a lot of good stuff. I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll have a lot of great tape to look at. I know that was. We had over 80 reps, I believe, so uh, a lot of film to watch and, and to, to go over and critique. How did you feel being calm place from the sideline and having, and then even with the adjustments, like you said, with the maybe wrong personnel and stuff? Being yeah, no, it was, it, was, it was good. It was a little different um, in terms of just trying to, not having somebody up in the box giving you the exact D&D. &D. We tried the best we could, but just like we talked about, you know, we're getting ready for a third down call, and all of a sudden they're telling me first and ten. So, um, but it was it was cool just to be down there to be with the guys, and um, you know what an incredible environment. Can I speak to both sorry, okay. both sides of? I mean, obviously Deshaun or a couple interceptions, a pick six. So defensively some turnovers, but obviously offensively more turnovers. Yeah, sure. Um, the one that you know Tony Brown jumped a scout route on the left side and. Um, it was. I think the ball looked like it was a little bit left inside, and Tony made a great jump on it, and he, you know he took the distance. The other one, the ball got, the ball got tipped, and that's you know unfortunate. Anytime you get a, a tip picked or or uh, you know off the off the collision there, so we'll take a look at that. But again, there's a lot of good good tape to go through and, and to really learn from. You said the other day about um, Kumaro that he's been consistent. He had some pretty nice plays out there tonight. Does that, what is, does, did he show you anything that you didn't already know? Or did he help himself in this environment? Yeah, he definitely helped himself. I mean, it just it speaks to just what we've been saying all along. I mean, the guy is, you can always count on Jake. And matter of fact, uh, I think he dinged his finger in, in the one-on-ones when he caught a ball, too. So, um, But he's, he's a tough guy. He played through it and uh, made the, the, that catch he made on the right sideline was pretty incredible.